Yorkers woke up this morning only to discover the shocking disappearance of their Lady Liberty. After the disappearance of other monuments, including the Arc de Triomphe, the Stonehenge Monoliths in England, and the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C., the monument pirates have struck again in the dead of night, adding the Statue of Liberty to their already impressive bounty. Police forces have mobilized, but even though they are reluctant to admit it, are having trouble coming up with the slightest trace of the vanished monuments. Good morning, angels. Good, Good morning, morning, Charlie. Charlie. As you've seen, the head of the FBI is at a loss. The president himself has requested our help, Bosley. A giant cargo ship was spotted off the Easter Island coast. It's currently on stopover in Los Angeles. Now, we should check it out. Break it down, Boz. How do we get aboard? In order to approach it without drawing too much attention, you girls will sign up for the Miss Bikini Contest on the beach. That ought to keep the sailors occupied. While we gain access to the ship. And once we get aboard? Well, if there are any interesting clues, the captain's got them. Find them and convince them to cooperate. I love a man in uniform. Oh, and angels. Try not to sink the boat. Our insurance company might not appreciate it. Boss, it was just that once. The roof was rigged with C4. Right. Rooftops exploding. Boats sinking. You girls can't answer the phone without something catching on fire or flipping over. Good point, Boz. We'll try not to blow anything up. If we encounter a hitch, we'll keep a lid on collateral damage. Anchors away, angels. Find that captain and see if Bosley's theory holds water. Good morning, Angels. Good morning, Charlie. Great work, as always. The stone eye you found matches samples from the missing Easter Island statues. As for the tattoo Dylan found on the captain, it's the emblem of a group called Silent Winter. Silent Winter? It's an Alaska-based militia, mercenaries in their spare time. You seem well-informed, Dylan. What? OK, so? I had a lapse in judgment. It was one date a long time ago. He's in prison now. They probably have first-hand information about the people we're after. I'm sure they'll tell us if we ask them nicely. Your goal is to capture the head of Silent Winter. He is the only one who knows the identity of the thief. Once we got him, how do we get out? Dog sled? ski -doo? Ice skates? Snowshoes? I planned to get away. Dylan, you head for the heliport and Caesar chopper. That'll allow you to clear the zone quickly with your client. Careful, Angels. This is a paramilitary group you're dealing with. Don't worry, Charlie. We know how to handle privates. And sergeants. And generals. We'll be careful, Charlie. We promise. Those hitmen won't know what hit them. Bundle up, Angels. Head north and see if you can't ice this case. Good morning, Angel. Good morning, Charlie. Our new Alaskan friend gave us a full description of the man who supervised the theft of the statues. The address you found on the cargo ship led us to this Acapulco villa. And you won't believe who our mystery man is. The Thin Man. I guess he takes a licking. Sure. And keeps on ticking. The guy just won't stay dead. What do we need to do, Boz? Infiltrate the thin man's home and download his personal files onto the agency mainframe. How do we get at the files? Natalie, you'll have to gain access to the rooftops. You must reposition the satellite antenna in order to download the data. If you encounter the thin man, try to bring him back with you. Alive? No more than a few bruises. We want him fit to talk. That would be a first. He's sort of a man of few words. Look out for yourselves, angels. The thin man is a professional killer, and so are his men. Um, a tropical getaway with an old friend? What could be more fun? Gracias, angels. Find the thin man in Mexico and have him say adios to his computer files. Need a hand? We were just enjoying a chat. He's an excellent listener. Mind if I join you? Sure. I believe I've made my point. One, two, three!
I think he has a crush on you, Dylan. Well, he did smell my hair first. The only thing he smelled today was my boot connecting with his nose. Good morning, Angels. Good, Good morning, morning, Charlie. Well done. Good work. While you were gone, I identified the cargo ship's owner. He goes by the name of Ed Foster. He's an industry magnet and owns a home in Scotland. Let me guess. We're going to pay him a visit. That's right, Dylan. We must now gather evidence of Foster's implication in this case. There must be documents regarding the thefts. If he's involved. Exactly. We know that Foster's quarters are located in the heart of the dungeon. That's where I suggest you look for him. Maybe Alex would like to take the lead on this one. I don't... Why am I the leader every time black leather and a whip is involved? No reason. You're aware that we've had to bend over backwards to keep a lid on our insurance premiums? I'm counting on you. We promise, Bosley. But keep your checkbook handy. Just in case. Good morning, angels. Good, Good morning, morning, Charlie. Charlie. Good news. We now know where the next theft is supposed to occur. Bosley will outline his plan. Our CIA contacts have informed us that Foster has been in close contact with General Cho, a highly placed official in the Chinese army. This same Cho is also supervising the surveillance of the Forbidden City, which has been sealed off to tourism since the thefts began. Foster must have paid him well. How can a man pawn off his own country's heritage? Probably an offshore account. We must prevent the theft of the Emperor's throne, located in the heart of the Forbidden City. Even protected by local security personnel, our thieves will have to act fast. If Cho has a city locked down, we'll need to get in undetected. And get to the Emperor's throne before Foster does. Looks like dim sum is out of the question. Just once, I'd like to see more of a foreign country than its military bases, abandoned compounds, and dive bars. Come home safely, angels, and the fortune cookies are on me. If we had your address, Charlie, we could send you a postcard. Save the stamp, Angels. Just find the Emperor's throne and finish off Foster. Good morning, Angels. Good, Good morning, morning, Charlie. Charlie. Good news. The data you downloaded at the Thin Man's hideout indicated the whereabouts of Foster's private little museum. Bosley will fill you in. What we're dealing with here is an ultra-secret military compound buried at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Remote, discreet, and undetectable by satellite, right? Undoubtedly difficult to access. Probably very well guarded. With a security system that's state-of-the-art. Right on! <laughs> Alex, once inside the compound, you'll search for the museum. Dylan, you'll assist her progress. As for you, Natalie, find Foster and haul his ass back here whether he likes it or not. Why us, Charlie? If we found him, why not just send in the police? I don't want Foster to panic. He could do something reckless at the sight of a uniform. How do you figure? A few days ago, Foster ordered a rather impressive stock of explosives. We fear he may have rigged the compound. Kaboom. Sounds like a blast. Uh-oh, beep often means boom. Here goes our insurance. Edmund Foster, you have the right to remain silent. I do what she tells you. Okay. Anything you say can be held against you. Will definitely be held against you. I've always wanted to read a criminal's rights. <laughs> You're a natural. Oh, you get the picture. Call your lawyers for details. Good morning, angels. Good morning, Charlie. Congratulations, angels. You've rid the world of its greatest thief ever and put away over a hundred gangsters of all kinds. I'm very proud of you. 
Thank you, Charlie. The police are on their way to collect Foster and the documents. And as for you, your next mission is a vacation. Three tickets to Honolulu are waiting for you back at the agency. Great! I've got to get my surfboard ready and... Hey, wait. No hula girls or tiki torches for you, Charlie. Aloha, angels. Enjoy yourselves. Until next time for more adventures. Until, Until next time, time Charlie. Charlie! VIP, good morning. What can we do for you? This is Dr. Kindle speaking. It's urgent I call you. For an emergency. What's happened exactly, Doctor? There are... there are men with guns crawling all over my estate. Is there a place you can hide before we get there? A place to hide? I'm kinda in the middle of a surgery here. Are you calling from your clinic or your estate? Both. Please, hurry! I need Valerie Irons! Your clinic is on your estate? What is this? Twenty questions? Don't worry, sir. We're on the way. Val will personally protect you. We better wait for Tasha, Quick, and Johnny to back us up. Not enough time. It's just you and me, Nick. That's plenty. You take care of the bad guys, and I'll take care of our client. Let's rock and roll. I see a lot of bogeys. Where is he? Are we unfashionably late? No. We gotta check out the whole crib. Let's try another place. Dr. Kindle? Valerie Irons, you made it! It's nice to meet you. Hurry up, we've got company. We'll sneak out the back. Okay, it's safe. Don't fall back here, okay? There are men all around the perimeter. How'd they get the 411 on us so fast? How many bombshell bodyguards do you know? We gotta hide the client and I know where. I'll throw in a distraction. Tasha, slip out and join Nikki. We're going to Venice Beach. I'll try to lead them north. Kay, can you jam their communications? Well, if they're using repeater phones, I'll flood the frequency with 4,000 ohms of- Kay, just make it happen. This is a safe house? More like a sweatshop. It's perfect! They'll never think to look at a gym. Cool, I can work on my abs. I'll be your spotter. Johnny! I should have known you'd be here! Let's continue the reunion inside. So, tell us why these guys want to turn you into a slab jockey. I've no idea. Then we'd better call in the cops. No, you can't call the police. You holding out on us, Doc? I may have down a face surgery or two for the mob. Whose face? Have you heard of the Macabre family? Sure. They're the most hardcore mob this side of the mess. You better be straight with us, Doc. All our lives are on the line here. Be sure to tell Macabre how that floor tastes. What does Don Macabre want, Mr. Bad Guy Mobster? He wants Dr. Kindle dead. Why? Did his tummy become untucked? He blackmailed Macabre's nephew. No one messes with the Don's family. Kindle is marked for death. Bad, Dr. Kindle. You know blackmail is a big bozo no-no. He's exaggerating. I just sent him a bill. You must have pretty steep rates. Macabre's going down. I'll scope out the Macabre. Kay will do a little cyber sleuthing. And I'll stay here with Dr. Kindle. I'm not leaving you here by yourself. I think I can handle it. My name isn't on the door for nothing. I think we'd all feel more comfortable with extra eyes on Dr. Kindle. Fine. Quick, are you in? Into kicking Don Macabre's butt. Don Macabre has controlling interest in a legit business. A microchip company. They're being featured at a show tomorrow. Microchips? Macabre knows about lead, not silicon. Let's hit the place and download some hurt on this guy. You can bet Macabre will have plenty of muscle there. Well, the computer geeks better not get in our way. Okay, keep the communication line open. K. 
Kay, can you hear me? Barely. Your signal's very weak. Listen carefully. I found Macabre's game. He's dealing in stolen microchips, but I've hit a roadblock. His computer locked me out. No problem. I'm the Shaquille O'Neal of computer hackers. You'll have to suit up and come down here. The computer is not jacked to any networks. Oh, kind of like an away game. Nikki and Johnny got your back. Get off the bench and get here fast! Won't let you down, coach. What took you so long? The guards weren't exactly rolling out the red carpet for us. They're littered all over the place. Let me at that computer password. This is how I earn those medium-sized bucks. You get a bonus if you're fast. I hear something coming. Got it. Macabre's stolen microchip network is intense. He's pulling down 20 million. Copy the files. Why didn't I think of that? I was gonna take a picture of the monitor. That disc is going to bury Macabre. All done. Let's roll. I always wanted to say that. We're pulling out. Our cover's been blown. But I love this hideout. It has its own juice bar. Sorry. Where's the duck? spotted their truck. They're probably still inside. Run up a few more men and keep it quiet. We don't tip off the cops. Got it. All these bozos in suits are macabre's men. Let's trip the alarms and get the cops in here. Sometimes they shoot first and ask questions later. But we don't want Macabre to get away. We'll trip the alarm after we get out. So much for being silent and deadly. Let's get out of here. Macabre's setting us up. Either way, we've got to warn Kay. She's at the office now. Let's go. We'll call her on our way. I can't find it. It's here. My cab wasn't kidding. C4 isn't a laughing matter. Can you turn it off? It's got a pretty complicated trigger. Then uncomplicated, fast! Let me try something. No good. We gotta chuck this bad boy now! If we throw it out the window, someone might get hurt. Just leave it. And miss the fireworks? Come on, we've gotta find Val, Quick, and the Doctor ASAP. How? You don't think the Don's just gonna box them up at his castle? Actually, yes. Only one way to find out. Welcome to the Macabre Tower, Miss Irons. You'll never get away with it, Donnie. I beg to differ. Take them away, Paolo. We're trapped. There's no way out. Unless you're Super Val. Or her cell phone. Kay, it's me. We're trapped in Macabre's tower. She knows. Coolio, now get your butts over here and save us. In the meantime, let's get ready for any unwelcome visitors. Macabre probably has a whole army waiting for us. Bring him on. I hope we're not too late. Time to switch to plan B. We take Val Irons hostage, and we get the heck out of here! Ah, the sweet sound of VIP! They're here, finally. This damp dungeon air is curling my dew.
Drop your weapons. And no tricky moves. I won't hesitate to pull the trigger. Trick or treat there. I hope I never see another facelift again. Good look in this hood. There's more plastic here than a toy factory. Well, actually, I hear Dr. Kindle is back in business and has reopened his practice in a brand new facility. Yeah, and he's having a special buy one, get one free. Buy one what? I lived. Sheesh. What'd you think I meant? 